Hey, what's up guys? My name is Avery, and today I wanted to show you guys how to use PyDoc in order to make documentation for your Python programs. So as you can see right here, here's a quick example of an HTML that was generated with PyDoc. And it basically just takes the classes, it takes all the variables, and it's able to display them using the comments that are made within your code. And it can generate a little manual page within your terminal. It can also generate this HTML document. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and I'll show you guys how to use some of the features. So I've made this sam sample program right here called test. And basically what it does, it has this class of a player. And right here, we put in the documentation for it. We wrote class player, and we can write some other things. I wrote some of the variables that the class holds. And as you can see, I define these variables here below. So it has coordinates, it has health, velocity, and name, and something for the player to say. And then we also define some functions. We move it to the left, it changes the x, and move it to the y, it changes it the y. I mean, now that moves it to the right and changes the x as well. And then you can damage and heal it to its health. And each of these functions has a short definition for the function. Move left, moves the player to the left, right to the right. Damage lowers the health and heal raises the health. And then below we actually go ahead and we run the function. We create a player, we call it me, we set its name to Avery. And we can give it some stats and then that's basically what the program does. We can go ahead and actually run it to see how it works. So running it, we can see it printed out the speech, it did everything that it said. And now let's go ahead and actually try to generate a documentation file for this. To do that, you can just do pydoc. And you'll just type in the name of the program. You don't need to type in .pi, just type in the name and it'll generate it. So here is the documentation that was made within the terminal. It's pretty similar looking to a man page, it's really nice. And as you can see, it has a title of the file, it has a location, and then it breaks down the class. And it also has the notes for the class I had. It shows the methods that are defined, the functions, and then also has the note that I wrote for the function. It does that for all of them. And then there's some data from what was ran in the program. As you can see, I changed my X and also changed my health whenever I ran the program. And that's basically it. And it also has an instance of this player that I created. So it doesn't just show what it shows everything the code does and how it affects the values as well. You can just tap Q and it'll quit. And I'll show you guys how to make a HTML. To do that, you just do it. Put in dash W for a website. And that generates it. You can just do this right here to open that up. And as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the other one. That's the name of the title. As a classes player, if you had several classes, you'd be able to click on them to link to them. And I'll pull them directly to it. There's the definition. And it's the same thing that we looked at the terminal. It's just put it in a different design, put it in this HTML document so you can view it from a browser. And along with that, say you're hosting a server with a lot of your a lot of code and you have a lot of documentation, so you want to be able to sort through them. So in order to get to this page that I was at right here. You can actually use PyDoc to host it yourself. So you just want to do PyDoc, and then you'll just type in P, and you do one, two, three, four. Click enter, and it says PyDoc server is ready. You can open it up right here. So while this is running, it's going to be opened up. And you can see all the programs or computer that have documentation using Python. You can click on any of these, and it'll break down how they work and it's pretty nice and it also shows the program that I made myself that test program it's in here as well find it right here it's period because it's in the current directory that I'm in and yeah you can just go through and it'll show all them in here so you can actually look at other documentation this way and you can also make your own documentation this way and there's a way to host it as well with a GUI do that you'll just type in pi.g and it pulls up this little GUI so you can control it. 
Just click open browser and that'll open up just as well. And maybe you may have noticed one thing. Whenever I go to generate my PyDoc, it actually ran it right here. So what happens if we don't want it to actually display what's being ran, you can go ahead and edit it in the file itself. And these functions right here, the things that are actually called, we'll just go ahead and change part of that. Let's go ahead and indent all these actually. So right here on top, we're just going to add an if statement, we'll right here, if name, and then we'll set it equal to, equal to, and these semicolons, we'll type in, or these quotes, type in main, and then we'll call it. So as you can see, it's going to run the same way as it ran right here, but if we were to generate the PyDoc. So it'll do the W and test. It generated it without actually running it. Because when you're running right here, it's checking for main. So it's gonna call anything that's under main. But PyDoc is actually gonna be checking for the underscore underscore doc. So if you want it to run anything in the doc, you'll just do the same thing. Just change it to doc and it'll only run while you're creating a document. So I hope that was great for you guys to see. I hope you guys all understood. It's a really simple way to make your own documentation for your Python programs. So I hope all you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead and like, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Our goal by the end of the month is to reach 500 subs. So far this month, we've reached about 36. So that's doing pretty great. And, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave in the comment section below. In the video description, I'll have all the code that we use. And see you guys next time. Bye.